Hey up everybody, Magpie9901 here, bringing you another prey video. Now in this video I'm going to give you some hints and tips for your survival within the first couple of hours of the game. And the reason that I'm saying the first couple of hours is that I haven't really played past the first couple of hours. I think I've logged in about 6 or 7 hours gameplay, but I don't think I've progressed that far within the game. So I'm not going to say that I'll give you tips for the full game because I just haven't got through it yet. So one of the first tips that I'm going to give you for playing this game is to simply take your time. Don't rush through the game take your time to learn your surroundings take your time to look around each and every room that you go into as there is always something to collect in every room and that leads me into my next tip which is to collect everything you see as I say check out every room there's little nooks and crannies in every room sometimes there might be a pile of boxes in the corner you can maybe get around the back of them and there might be something on the floor it pays to look everywhere because there will be something to pick up there's cabinets to look in fridges filing cabinets things like that so make sure that you check everything and collect it no matter what even if it's a banana peel or something like that it all comes in very useful now when you take your time that also means that you won't be running into enemies head on take it slowly through the rooms and also if you run into one enemy don't instantly run out thinking that you can't tackle it depending on what enemy it is of course because then you might run into another room and find another enemy and they could follow you the ai within the game isn't massively great they don't tend to follow you great distances but if they can still see you then they will follow you for a bit and that could mean that they'll follow you back into a room that you've just run out of and then you'll end up with two enemies after you instead of just the one so take your time when you're approaching the rooms check them out make sure there's nothing in if there is then work out a strategy for taking out that enemy depending on what enemy it is so what kinds of enemies will you be coming up against within the first few hours well there's only really diff three different types that you will come across first of all they are the mimics now mimics are they're a little bit like head crabs out of aliens like a little black spider but they're very very easy to kill but not so easy to spot as the mimics are able to take the form of something that is around them. So that could be a trash can, it could be a clip for your 9mm gun, you know, things like that, they can take the shape of it, but they will turn back into their normal shape as you get close to them. But the good thing is that even with just the wrench, two to three or four hits with a wrench will kill them and they generally don't take off too much of your health or damage your suit too much. So I just tend to get them with the glue gun if I can. The glue gun sets them in position and you can just hit them, I think it's like three times, and then they're dead. So they're quite an easy enemy to go up against, but you will find that you come up against quite a few of them. I'm playing on easy mode and there's still quite a lot of them to be fair. Now the next enemy that you'll come up against is the Phantom. Now this is a little bit more harder to take on. You definitely need to have your pistol or maybe even the shotgun if you've managed to get it at the point of meeting these things because they are quite the formidable foe. Generally you'll know when you come in up against them because you will hear them talking. The Phantoms are former employees of Talos 1 that have been basically possessed and turned into Typhon enemies. Take like a humanoid form but they're able to attack you in various different ways, they're able to set things on fire, they're able to emit toxic clouds and they can shoot lightning at you. Now one thing that I've noticed while I've been playing the games is that and this is another tip, that you can manually lock doors. Not all the doors, but some of them you can manually lock, and this comes in useful if you're running away from something, you can shut the door and it can't get through. Now, some of these phantoms have tried to shoot the lightning attack at me, and obviously the door, as you would expect, stops it. But I've come up against a couple of them where I've shut the doors and their lightning attacks have still gone through the door and hit me. Whether that's meant to be part of the game, if that's a game mechanic, I don't know, or whether it's a glitch, I'm not sure, but it doesn't work through all doors. But these are quite hard to take on, you can slow them down with the glue gun, but they will still be able to fire lightning at you even though they're glued. Once they are glued, you can hit them with your shotgun or your pistol, or even, I think the first one that I took on, I hit with a wrench, and I managed to kill it with the wrench, although it took 7 or 8 hits, and by that point my suit was buggered and... I didn't have much health, but I managed to finish it off. But I would seriously recommend either having your shotgun, which is probably the best weapon to take these down, or at least your pistol with a good few clips ready. Otherwise, you may struggle against these. But you can hear them talking, so you know that they're coming up. Plus, you will see um, bolts of electricity flying out, so you know when you're coming up against one of these. It's basically the voice that you hear first, so it's like a garbled voice. And once you start to hear that, you know that there is one pretty close. Now, there are gun turrets spread around in Talos 1. These are very very effective against the Mimics. 
You can pick a gun turret up, move it and deploy it in another area, and for Mimics it kills them out dead. But for the Phantoms, whilst it, they have, have seen one take out a Phantom from distance, but if the Phantom can get close to the turret then one swipe and the turrets the turret gets broken so they're not as effective against the phantoms but if you can grab one and you can use it in your attack then if that turret can land a few hits then you know it's better for you in the long run now the third and final enemy that you'll come across within the start of the game are the operators now the operators to a certain extent are very useful they're basically floating robots that fly around various areas and as far as I know, there's three or four types of them. I've only come across three of them up to now. And the ones I've come across are the doctors, the engineers, and the scientists. Now, the doctor one, as you would think, is a health bot. Now, if you're low on health and you find one of these bots, there are various stations around Talos 1 where you can just hit a button and it will create a new bot for you. It doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't take any resources. And you just talk to this bot, it will scan you, and if you're low on health, it will regenerate your health Fully. The next one's the engineers. Again, if you talk to these and your suit is damaged, it will fully re-energize your suit. And as you move a little bit further on, you have your psychic abilities opened up to you, and you can use the scientist ones to boost your psychic ability. But some of these operators have become corrupted, and you'll be able to tell which ones they are because they'll have flames coming out of them. Now, if they spot you, they will come after you and they spew flames at you through a broken fuel pipe on them. And they're not by any means the worst enemy but if you get one at you while you're trying to take on a phantom it can quickly kill you it adds to your damage so the best to take out you can hit them with a glue gun and then hit them with your wrench or you can take your shotgun to them but i think the shotgun using it on these is a bit of a waste of the ammo because there's not a lot of shotgun ammo about so it's best to try and get them with the glue gun and then hit them with your wrench now another thing that you will see within the game is that using the glue gun you can climb up to different areas by spraying the glue along the wall you create a temporary step and you can climb up so it's always worth looking up if you're trying to get into a room and you can't see how to get into there it's always worth having a look around there to see if there's any way to get up sometimes there will be a way sometimes there won't but if there is a way then you can often use the glue gun to get up there plus sometimes there are service ducts which can be opened at the side of rooms and you can crawl through into other areas. Some of them will lead into different parts of Talos 1, others are just a dead end, but there will be something in there, such as a dead person to loot and things like that. So it's always worth looking around for those. Plus, if you're looking for a place to hide, they, they make a pretty good hiding place. And that brings me into my next tip, and that is that if you come again, especially a phantom, if you come across a phantom and you duck down, hide behind something and they can't see you. Now you'll notice that when you do come up against them there is like a, a white bar and this bar will start to fill out with little white blocks and once it gets to the end it turns red and that means that the enemy is locked on you and is coming after you. Now if one does see you but you manage to duck then it will leave you alone, it won't come after you because it doesn't know if it's seen you properly or not. As long as that bar doesn't start to flash red then you're fine. But if you need to get around somewhere or get past one, for instance you don't have enough ammo to take one down, if you just duck down and watch, phantoms especially seem to follow a certain path and once you've worked that path out, then you can usually work out a way of getting around them. So at the start of the video, I told you to make sure that you collect everything, and now I'm going to tell you why. Basically, everything that you can collect, even if it looks completely useless, like an orange peel or something like that, or a banana peel, you're able to put those into what are known as material recyclers. Basically, you pick everything out of your inventory that doesn't really have much value to it, and you will know these ones as in your inventory that grayed out, so they have absolutely no value towards energizing your health or your suit repair or anything like that. They're just things that take up space in your inventory. But these that are greyed out, drop them into the recycler and it will spit out a load of components for you, which you can then use for crafting. Now, once you've done the once you've done your uh, recycling of your materials, you need to find a fabricator. These look exactly the same as the recyclers, just a different colour. They look a little bit different. You go over to the screen and on the screen it'll tell you the things that you can do with this fabricator that can be you could be able to craft med kits nine millimeter ammo and um, foam gun ammo or shotgun ammo things like that and you just drop the materials in press craft and then it will spit out what you've wanted to craft so the more things that you can collect around the game as you go the better now your inventory isn't very big but you can expand it now in order to expand your inventory you will need to collect what are known as neuromods these are scattered throughout talos one 
you can be given some by the people that you meet within the game, although you don't meet very many. I've only met, I think, one person up to now. Although I've met an operator, which gives me access to some as well. But for the most part, you will collect them as you go looking around the various rooms and places within Talos 1. And these neuromods are then used to expand skills within your skill tree. And your skill tree has three different separate areas first as scientist engineer and then security and within within your uh, skill tree you want to look for engineer and then suit modification once you've got enough neuro mods to expand that if you do suit modification it will then it upgrade your inventory so that you can carry more and for me personally this is one of the things that you want to concentrate on the more you can collect the more you can craft and the more ammunition you've got for your various weapons and that is basically it for the first few hours of prey as i say just take your time make sure you collect everything make sure you check out every nook and cranny i find the game a little bit um i find it disorientating when i go out into space trying to work around way around but you will find that you've got to revisit areas that you've been to before so there is it does seem like you're backtracking but you'd be doing it for a reason you won't just be doing it for the fun of it but i do find that i end up going back to my office in the lobby quite a lot there is a recycler and a fabricator in there so i often end up going back there so that i can craft and recycle things because other parts of the station you'll maybe find a recycler but there will be a fabricator so at least in that place you've got both of them together and yeah just take your time work your way through it and you should be good and that is all i've got for you today folks so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to share and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one take care